In this excerpt from SFS Pentatonics 2 Navigating Chord Changes, we look at how we can use the half hold diminished scale to handle certain unusual chords that may appear in songs. If you don't know how to play the scale everywhere on the fretboard, then you should first check out the previous lesson called Instant Diminished Scale for a very quick way to do that using the SFS fretboard organization system. There should be a link on this page to get to it. Okay, now that you have practiced this quick diminished SFS shortcut, it's time to see where we can use it. Later, I'm going to give you an extensive chord list along with what scale you can use over each chord. But now let's concentrate on the half hold diminished scale. The most obvious application of this scale is when you see a diminished triad, a simple diminished chord. And in this course, we're always going to use the half hold version of the scale, not the whole half. Here's how that sounds. There is a chance that the half hold diminished might not be the most conventional and traditionally appropriate choice. This depends on harmonic context. Sometimes the whole half might be more appropriate or even something totally different like the Locrian mode or the Super Locrian or the Ultra Locrian. But we don't want to spend the time to cover all these scales right now. And the truth is that whenever you have a high tensions chord like the diminished or an altered seventh chord, the listener's ears are more receptive to more outside sounds. In fact, in jazz and fusion and some other styles, players do this on purpose all the time. They substitute the more conventional scale choice with an outside substitution. So, if it happens that the half hold diminished scale sounds a bit off over a certain diminished chord, don't worry about it, use it anyway. The trick when playing out is to play confidently so that the sound of the scale becomes more prominent than the sound of the harmonic context and pulls the listener into following your melodic idea. Another important thing is to resolve the tension by voice leading smoothly into the target chord that comes next. I will play you an example of this in a bit, but first I'll show you a few more uses of this scale. Another one is the diminished seventh chord. That's the one you practiced over in the last lesson, so you should be familiar with that. Now one situation where I don't recommend using this scale is over a minor 7 flat 5 chord, also known as the half diminished 7th. For reasons that I'm not going to get into right now, this can sound sloppy sometimes, so instead we can use another very simple solution that's more safe. You can use a modified 3 string pentatonic. You just play the standard 3 string fragments for pentatonics, but move the second note of SF2 one fret back. This works very well for minor 7 flat 5 chords and sounds very cool. You'll hear this in action over chord changes in a bit. Another place for the half hold diminished scale is when you use a dominant 7 flat 9 chord. This is one of those places again where you will most likely get a slightly outside sound but again, the use of this scale is very standard in this case and should work fine. For a shortcut, it certainly beats having to learn all the theory in order to decide if you should use a Phrygian dominant or the altered dominant or some other scale. You can always learn those as well. But what we are after here is to equip you with a basic toolbox to handle all chords in a short time. Later, you can add new colors and choices on top of this. So now I'm going to play you an example over the following chord progression. D minor 7 flat 5, G7 flat 9, and then C minor for two bars. According to what we learned in this course, I will play the modified three string pentatonic for D minor 7 flat 5, the half hold diminished for G7 flat 9, and then of course the C minor pentatonic for C minor. I will improvise and try to voice lead smoothly from one scale to the next. This way you'll be able to hear how the tension of the outside sound of the half hold diminished resolves when I voice lead into the C minor. So watch the example, pay attention to the scale changes, and after that we'll talk a bit more about this.